Okay. Sassy Nacho. What's up, man? How you doing? Sassy. Okay. Overdrive time. If you can, a fast critique would be good. Have two works and this challenge. Kind of hard to keep saying. <laughs> Dude. Beast. Critique the last two posts, material and random prop or module, if you will. Let's see what's going on here. So critique the last two posts in a random prop. So this is four days ago, five days ago. So like when you say last two, do you mean the do you mean this one and this one? Let me go down here. What's happening down here? I don't know which one. Here, I'm going to link this to you guys. Um, I don't know which one you want me to... Air conditioning and the window module. Okay. Dude, that building is crazy. Okay, I'm going all the way up. So air conditioning thingy, my Bob. So this one looks, uh, this is looking pretty lag. It's a lag AC unit. Totally reliable. Moroz, what's up, man? Uh, so resolution-wise, it's pretty low res. Um, and the fan itself is not really sticking out as much or doesn't really have the depth that you're expecting. I would honestly uh, model that inward. Make this grating. Just model the grating. Not as many of these, right? But model the grating in. And then um, model the fan blades and put it inside. The payoff will be glorious. Although it does really depend on like where it's, uh, oh geez. It does really depend where, uh, where you end up seeing it in the scene. I'm not really commenting too much on the material because I know that the scene is really dark and um, as long as it fits into its environment, it's probably better. Um, better than like you know popping up because it's so detailed so the window module you're talking about where is that oh that's cool um, are you talking about these looks pretty cool uh, is that the is that the model that looks like the model See here. Yeah, so that is the. So this looks pretty cool. The glass might be a little um, diffused, but this is looking pretty awesome. The tiling, there's like a noise that's showing up everywhere around here. And I see it just. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You know, it's just duplicated a lot, right? And the edges of these are really sharp. I know it's going to cost a lot of geo. Um. Just take those edges, bevel all of them. <laughs> if there's, I assume there's not a crazy poly count limit, like crazy low. You could, you could afford to bevel all of those or like make one of these columns. Mm, no, you can't do that because the way you're, you're using the mesh. Um, let me see how this. I mean, I get maybe you don't bevel the knee. It might not need it. I mean, if you if you even just the way this is being viewed, if you even just beveled the uh, the sides of them, like just these guys, this edge here on both sides, that'd probably be enough. Maybe bevel the top one Eh, don't bevel the top one. Just to try and get light wrapping around those shapes. That way they kind of stick out and make sense as to what, what you're looking at. Because right now they're just 
they're just blocks, right? And all they do is add um, all they do is add darkness between the like here it looks pretty good. Uh, maybe get an AO bake in there. But here, like, see how dark they get? Oh, that's that's awesome. Why? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to talk to Leo about that. Why is that happening? Dude, I'm gonna have to talk to him about this thing. This thing bugs me. These arrows, because I want to like point at stuff on them, and I can't like. Mmm, I can't. <laughs> he likes constructive feedback. Uh. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's all right. Where there is a problem, obviously, is this is this edge here. Like you've got a uh, seam there where they're not connecting up. But uh, I'm assuming you already know that's there because it's not happening el everywhere. It's just there. What is the difference between a bevel and a chamfer? The spelling. I think that's it. I think that is all. 827 okay just uh yeah because see look at the single piece and you're like yeah this is looking this looks pretty cool the dripping pattern is apparent in this but in the other one you you'd lost it if you treated this whole face as kind of one with the dripping pattern where like the dripping is happening up here and as it works its way down, it kind of tones down. Whereas at the bottom, it's, it's a little less. I think bevels are flat and chamfers tend to be rounded. I mean, I think it's, I think it's uh, the action of beveling something to chamfer it. I have no idea. Why do you why do you approach me with these hard questions? <laughs> uh, yeah, this is looking pretty cool though. Oh, interesting. Cool. I'm going to move on to make sure that we hit everyone. Hit everyone in the art face. So this one is James. Would love a crit on this. Oh, this girl's talking to me in years. It's weird. So this looks pretty cool, man. Uh, I feel like there could be a little bit more um, depth difference between some of these, but not too much. I mean, it's already pretty, it's already doing it a little bit. I feel like the cracks are uh, a little procedural looking still, like um, these ones. I'm just, this is full on mouse now. I'm just doing it. I can do this. Be Val. To be Val. To Val. <laughs> uh, the scrapes here are really cool. But yeah, the, the cracks, like, ah, uh, that one's okay. Just because it doesn't continue long enough to get kind of strange procedural shapes. I mean, this might be all right as well. Maybe it's just too dark or too deep. Um... I think that the metal and the rust and stuff that's coming off of this, like there's a lot of interaction happening. Let's see here. Behind the, like in here, like this edge, there's like a little bit of uh, rust bleed onto the, onto the concrete maybe. And you're seeing it here as well. If there was a little bit of uh, drippage, especially from here, it looks like there is a little bit there just to kind of lock that down. I think this uh, overall light stuff in the albedo around the the handle bolt things, I don't know what those are, um, is it's probably a little strong. So it's, it's not really, uh, it's, it's coming off more like it's like part of the asset versus like uh, bolted into it and placed on top of it. Hopefully that makes sense. The other thing is make sure that you're, I'm, I'm like super zoomed in here. Make sure that these scratches and scuff marks that are happening to the, like this stuff is not interfering or interacting with these particularly. 
Like, it, you don't want direct damage to that. Like, it, it should, those scratches should be happening under it, probably. In general, though, this looks pretty, uh, it's pretty nice, man. Your AO looks pretty good as well. I would uh, make sure that your AO is majority white because, like, that little micro AO that's happening in there isn't really a thing other than if it's, like, the little pockets, the little dips and stuff. But, like, these really small ones, like, just make sure that you can't see that in your AO. So they'll end up making an asset look artificially darker, especially once they're in shadow in PBR, PBR engines. Direct sunlight uh, ambient occlusion doesn't have any effect. It's it's only apparent in shadows from what I've seen of uh, current PBR engines. Some crits on last shots will be awesome. Thank you. Dude, this is cool. There's a lot of uh, challenger, challenger peeps up in here. So mainframe, you wanted uh, some crits on the last shots. The last shoots. Um, so this already looks looks pretty cool. Now that now that this element is in here, that's awesome. Um, giving so see how there's so because the street is so lit with neons. Um, try and get separation between your buildings using shadows. So like have the back alleys go into darkness. So it's kind of like what we were talking about. Um, no problem, Chaos. I ho hopefully it was helpful. Um, because there's so much light in the main streets, kind of do what we were talking about in Forcelings scene with the little doorways, uh, but instead inverse it. So like as it goes into the alleyway, it gets darker, right? So you can see it recessing and going back away from all of the lighting. Um, this, this stuff is really good, having those little lights in the back. Dude, the fact that you have cars blocked out in here is crazy to me. That's that's insane. Uh, the road looks pretty good. I would make sure that your... Oh, Jesus. I'd make sure that your uh, crosswalk sticker stuff on the bottom here, your crosswalk paint, uh, kind of facilitates a similar uh, wetness to what's happening around it. Right now, it feels like it's void of uh, what's happening to the rest of the street. Uh, concept art. Concept art. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, you really nailed this car. Is that, like, shopped in there? What? Dude, that's crazy. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These street lights confuse me so bad. I was seeing it with other people's stuff. Like, they're... They're pointing the wrong way. It's really weird. Uh, making sure that there's enough AO inside of here to help separate uh, separate these elements from what's happening on the inside behind them. That'll be a huge benefit when you're trying to get those details to pop. Like you can see it too in the uh, in the ref. Like see how it gets dark behind them, so then these elements just kind of stick out. Trying to, I'm like looking at all the image. I'm doing this. <laughs> hey. Oh, this is cool, man. I'd eat up there. That looks like a nice place. Um, I bet there's great sushi up there. Let's see here. Yeah, I think you're getting there. I mean, just keep going and try and make sure that the composition, like like this one, the composition is basically all over the place. Like uh, one thing that's happening in the concept that's not happening in yours is this pillar here is actually pretty, uh, what the fuck? Hang on a minute. So this pillar is pretty dark. There's some weird stuff going on in it too. So I don't know if you notice, so it's behind this, right? But it's also behind this vehicle. What is happening? 
I don't know if you're, are you seeing that? Dude, <laughs> that confuses me. Anyways, make sure that it's kind of back in space, mainly because it's taking such a front position right now. If you, I mean, it can, if it's here and it's like this, it, that becomes a focal point. Like the neon signs here are pretty dense, uh, but making sure that they like, like this is becoming a focal point. So just keep an eye on that. Oh, oh yeah, stay in the cup. Yes. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the follow, dude. Um, yeah, pretty solid though. It's coming along pretty nicely. Oh, this is cool. I would love to see these cars moving around in a video. Oh, nice puddle. That looks awesome. Looks awesome. Am I getting double sounds again? What's happening? Anyways, super cool. It's coming along. It's coming along. All right, we got uh, just some overall feedback would be rad. Well, Tom, you know what's rad? This. This is rad. That's fucking crazy. In this update, I focus on refining the center tower. Piece just above the legs. A bit low quality compared to the rest of the tower. Uh, this is fucking cool. Dude, so in these towers are like super structures. Are those like skyscrapers and stuff in there. Shit, that's crazy. So I can see where it's going. Compositionally, it's pretty it's pretty interesting. Uh, this, um, you have like a line going back here. And then you have this one. I think um, leading, leading the eye, like this one is not really leading as much. But I, man, I don't know. I think it's behind this so that you don't have to solve the how it's connecting or, or going into spaces. I think having this one going this way with vehicles going that direction, ugh, going this way with vehicles going this direction, and then have one that's going this way. Nah, I don't know. Leave it. Leave it there. Woogie with the pizza. Dude, enjoy. Enjoy that pizza. In general, this is looking pretty cool. Uh, I think where where it needs to progress is in the materials. Right now, it's very flat and, and low poly feeling. Um, I'm curious how you're getting those little the little trees and stuff. That's kind of kind of crazy. Oh man. So I, I like the portrait layout as well. Dang, these are all kind of cool. The portrait layout though, like this is this is cool. I think the the atmosphere that you have going on that kind of gives that depth is really powerful. And I think uh, the materials look like they're actually popping more there than they are here. I'm not sure why. That's weird. Anyways, it is coming along pretty nicely. I would um, I would take some time and start looking at uh, getting rid of the low poly look on some stuff like up here, and then adding things to help explain how stuff is connected and being held together. And then it, I think it's more about uh, functionality. Like, it, are there a tons of little windows across here? What it what like? Is this a little walkway? What happens here? You know, like, uh, how do people get from down here to up there? Is that a is that a like tram thing that goes up the leg? Uh, materials. Materials. I think it's like you need to look at your materials and get some nice lighting happening across your surfaces. This one, I 
That one's cool, man. I think getting some, getting the blue that was up up here, uh, like back here, it's pretty cool. Anywho, looking good, looking good. Uh, where are you? There it is. War never changes. Substance designer material. Nice. Dude, this song though. We're downvoting that jazz. Uh, so footprints are really uniform and kind of even in depth. If you can vary up the depth uh, that that happens at, that that'd be good. Uh, your your rocks right now look very procedural, like they need a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of a pass on like varying up their shapes and softening them a little bit more, so they're not so etched looking um, the flowers I don't think you need the flowers in here actually I'm trying to figure out like the I guess there's a meaning behind it right uh, make sure that um, how you're sorting your flowers in your height map like that one for example is like not even being affected by the height information um, I don't know how you're making the shoe, but like if you were to say you were to make an imprint of a boot print in, um, in ZBrush and you got the height map from that, I would make like a couple of those. That way you get some variety of like how the boots are hitting the mud and just so there's breakup. Cause like these are like really clean stamps of footprints. Whereas like, you know, when people are running around or they're, they're walking over med, mud, it's more of a uh, momentum step. So there tends to be where the toes are. That tends to be a bit deeper. Maybe sometimes the mud pushes forward or goes back. The, yeah, if it's all substance then definitely the, the shoe prints are procedural, right? Uh, the skulls are pretty cool. They feel like they're made out of metal though right now. I would be really uh, hesitant to add like edge highlighting like that on there. Dude, the substance with the dead fish, that that's absurdly crazy. But uh, yeah, looking at the skull material and nailing the, uh, the material of bone that's muddied and aged will be important. Uh, getting some variety in your footprints and then addressing like the flowers because they feel they feel out of place and or they feel forced right now and they're not working everywhere either. But in general, I, I like the idea and I like where it's going. I think ad addressing those things uh, is going to be really important. Uh, honestly, if you want, like as you're working on it, just post it in uh, art related as you're working on just the roughness, right? And then as you're working on just the albedo, so we can just tune those values and get them just right. That's pretty cool though. War never changes, that's for sure. Uh, Cubic cap, hi everyone, if you if I understand, if I understood it good, post links here for critiques. I like to post my graduation project. We were two on the environments. I know it makes it less easy to comment because I was not alone. That's fine. But I made the bigger part of that one, uh, on that one. Model modelization, texturing, integration, lighting. All right. Let's, let's chickity check it. Oh man. Cool logo. Fast. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, it is a really cool idea for us. Uh, substance material.
so these look this looks cool uh the i'll say right away that the um the dirtiness that's happening here is really all over the place it, like looks too procedural and kind of crazy um it's just like a cloud noise on your roughness maybe uh the other thing is these like i can see that you're trying to make it look cold in there like that's just a combination of uh adding roughness and like a frost pattern around the edge here but uh there's some other things you'd want to do in there like um kind of add either like a controlled fog volume inside of there or like a height height fog that's controlled in there just to try and freeze up the inside of it more uh, desaturating stuff inside too will help that oh yeah that is weird I'm trying to make sense of the hang on here so this stuff here I think is part of the roughness again with the noise there's like noise in your roughness you see as it, it kind of like speckles away as you as you rotate This uh, spherical thing is really cool, and the uh, holographic stuff is really cool. This shot's pretty nice. Uh, we were talking about this the other the other day on a, a different uh, critique. Make sure that when your camera is moving around and stuff, uh, slowing it down and stopping it. Try and save those. Slowing it down to stop it, save that for a last shot, and not moving and then starting to move, save that, save that for the, the first shot. And then, you know, when, it's, when it doesn't move, then you fade out. When it's you fade in, and then it's not moving, and then it starts to move. Because it, really, um, it feels really strange when a shot starts not moving. You'll be really surprised by, like, how much uh, that changes stuff. Uh, changes the quality of the video. Dude, this vending machine's awesome. This floor looks really good. Uh, I like the the flickering that's happening. There's a bit of a disconnect between where the flickering is occurring and what where, you know, like I'm seeing it up here now and then I'm seeing it down here. But you see it at the bottom first. You see it on the ground first and then up here. So I'm like, what is going on? And then you're seeing flickering up here. Is that also flickering or is that just the bloom getting clipped? Either way, this looks pretty cool. The floor looks really, really interesting right here. I think everything else is kind of has a uh, material issues, I guess, like where they're they're uh, skirting around stylized or exaggerated. Uh, yeah, the floor looks really cool. I think maybe some some well-placed um, reflection uh, spheres or probes will help with the uh, reflective materials. In general, this looks pretty cool, though. It doesn't really feel like people have lived here or are working here. Like, I, I guess you expect to see footprints with everything being so shiny or glossy. Um, and then more directional lighting. Like, right now, the lighting is pretty uniform across the scene. Like, there's really big dark spots. Like, this is pretty dark, and this is really dark. But there's no like, this is creating most of the lighting or the screens are where the lighting's coming from. It's hard to tell where the lights are coming from until you, like, like if you remove these lights or if you didn't tell me those lights were there, you know, I wouldn't know where the lighting's coming from. I just know that the space is lit. That makes sense. Oh, you're using VXGI, huh? They just added that to uh, uh, 4.17. Not the official one, but the uh, NVIDIA version. Yeah, see, so your, uh, 
your roughness is really uniform across all of your surfaces. And I think um, adding variety inside of those is really going to help you. Um, let's see here. So fully dynamic lighting, huh? Yeah, so some of these materials are really selling. Like this one looks really good. This one looks good, and this one. This one looks pretty good as well. Uh, this one's also awesome. It's like these ones are really shiny. Oh, that's interesting. Repeated assets breakdown. This is pretty cool breakdowns, though. I like this. Choose your destination. Welcome back, Commander. That's interesting. VXGI. VXGI. In general, that looks pretty nice. Uh, I'd be curious to see where where you land. You should totally join the... Uh... Oh, what am I saying? You're already in the Discord. I don't even know. I don't even know. Anyways, welcome to Discord. You'll be uh, you're a great asset to the team. We'll all learn a lot together, I'm sure. Uh, where are we at here? Da -da 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 -da. This one, not uh, just some progress for the progress of lighting layout. Mostly looking at propping and small things. Now, like decals. Let's see here. Dang, dude, this has really come a long way. So this right there, this feels freaking cool. Freaking cool. Oh, I just noticed that Chaos followed me. Thanks for the follow, dude. Dat lighting. Yeah, it's feeling really nice. The ground feels pretty good, too. Maybe some height variety or, like, tilting in the tiles will add a little bit more to this. Um, Paxtaz for life not. Not life for Paxtas. Thanks for the follow, dude. Did it make it into the cup? I didn't see. Um, yeah, starting to get decals and, and drips here. This, this right here looks awesome, too. Super, super nice. Definitely needs uh, propping to help sell the scale of the space along with some other things. Um, maybe a trash can here or something. Something tipped over, I don't know. Posters, little call boxes, what floor you're on, maybe like a spray paint of a number for like, this is like, um, something's moving in the cup. It's probably a gem. Do this song though. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, I mean, in general, this looks pretty good. I think uh, I need to wait until you start adding the stuff that you're you were talking about in the in the stuff. I I like the lighting. Um, lighting position composition is pretty nice. The saturation of the bricks might be a little much, uh, or maybe it's just the lights that are doing. It. I'm not sure. Looking hot though, looking real hot. And I like how there's there's stuff on the ground trying to explain how stuff's put together. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, and the propping that you're talking about adding and the decals, that's where all your story is going to come in. Cubic Cat, dude, that's exactly why, like, the community is so great. Like, you can be a student all the way to, like, senior and you're always learning like it's endless you need to learn all the time every time and you can do a lot there 
Uh, hey, I love to hear a critique on my recent art test. Still waiting for results. Fingers crossed. So usually it's a bad idea to share art tests. So I'm going to assume you're sharing this with me because it's okay to share it. That's, that's my, that's my, that's what I'm going to say. So in general, this looks, uh, at first glance, this looks pretty dope. The glasses, uh, the choice that you did for the glass is pretty interesting. The details up here. Okay, so game ready model, legendary, street card, da, 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 seven days. A lot of fun, definitely learned a lot in terms of open subdiv and baking 3ds max painter. I think resolution wise, it's pretty low uh, with the textures. I guess it's this, isn't it? It's the viewer because now I'm scrolling down here. This looks pretty awesome. You're getting some weird normal warps uh, in these areas. Actually, it's the only one I see. There is a little bit down in here. Just make sure that those are pretty flush. Like you don't actually have to bake these out, I would assume. And you can just model those in and force the force the normals on them to look nice and nice and rounded or smooth. Yeah, it gets a little crazy there in the geometry. I'm assuming that's why it kind of gets weird in the normals. Your topology is really interesting. I, f I feel like there's a lot of detail that doesn't need to be there. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, usually when there's glass like this and you don't want to show inside, maybe a, something darker uh will look uh, will look better presentation wise and it'll help the uh the metal down here pop more because you won't be focusing on these you know you know oh wow pack on them uvs yeah you could definitely um get away with just mapping all of these and then you painting masks to tell it where to put these materials. Cause then you, you would end up with a higher res uh, asset as well. You wouldn't really be able to show that marvelous right now though. I don't think, um, but yeah, in general, this looks pretty good. There's, there's just a lot of, there's weird geometry stuff happening, weird warping and normals and stuff like that. Uh, they're probably going to ask you about that. Uh, I really like this stuff. The little like dirty stuff between the doors. Nice touch. Nice touch. Uh, I'd like to have a level. I'd like to have this level I've been working on for the past month or so to be critiqued. Basically, it's BSP placement, props, texture, placement, uh, lighting, and soon enemies spawning. All right, let's check it. Oh shit, son. Look at this guy. This looks very uh, division um, related. Um, okay, back to this one real quick. So Never going to be MLG. Dude, you're MLG now. What? What? How you doing? Uh, what's up, Doom Switch? So, oh, so I would have, would have just UV the windows and decals stuff. Uh, yeah. With, uh, wait, with vertex paint and paint the grime with vertex paint. No, no, like you can paint this in like Substance Painter, for example, and you can use that to apply, uh, you use Substance Painter to make a mask that you can then uh, blend between two materials. So you can blend between uh, metals, paints, uh, where there's paint damage. Like you can use masks and stuff to say where that occurs. And then all you have is like tileable metal paneling, tileable glass, tileable um, siding, like plastic siding and stuff like that. So then what this would be is just multiple maps of, you could do that all in one UV set if you wanted to. 
Uh, I have a video on it where I'm talking about layer, layered materials on YouTube. If you look there, it'll be it'll just be titled uh, titled layered materials. So this looks pretty cool. I'm almost positive this you are looking at um, what is that uh, Brooklyn? This is like the parking lot where there's a truck here, and then there's guys that are uh, stealing medicine from Sarah. And then you go and intercept them, and then you get a lot of enemies coming in from this way. <laughs> this looks pretty solid, though. Dang. I'm not going to be able to get to the other critiques. I still have to do Marika's, too. I'm gonna, we're going to make that. We're gonna, I'm going to figure something out about that. Pay attention on YouTube. Um, it is 901. Shit, I have to go. I have to go, guys. This looks solid, though. It needs, you need some snow in the air. This live in the dream image, I don't know. This is cool. I love the uh, light placement down here. This, uh, uh, where are we at here? These details here are, are pretty low poly. I would just totally add some extra geo and bevel stuff just to get rid of that that harsh edge god night god night my prison my prison so i'm going to uh look over this one again and uh look over where is that look over this one this one and this one Fuck. I hate it when I can't get to him. So there's those three, and then I need to actually uh, art. There's one Marika joined to post, but she never posted it in there. Let me find it. I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to take care of these this weekend and then post them on online. You guys are are getting good though man getting the good this one I'll drop this in chat for you guys prison saved where in the world what's up live workshop how you doing that was not this one that one's really good too though it's following the same same scene this one is it this one yeah Marika like her stuff's crazy good so I'm gonna put that on the list I'm gonna take care of these in the morning and then I'll post it on YouTube sorry I couldn't get to your guys' stuff tonight I gotta do one two three four five I'll do five critiques in the morning all right guys you guys have a good weekend I will see you on the discord if you're not on the discord join it join it it's cool it's fun we're responsible adults I promise and um, if you haven't, follow the channel. I do this Mondays and Fridays for two hours. Mondays, it's my stuff. Uh, Fridays, it's two portfolio reviews, which if you go on the Discord, you go to uh, Art Related, go to the pins, and there is a Discord link or a link to fill a forum out where you can get your portfolio reviewed. It goes into a queue. There is also a scrapbook thing where I grab all of your all of your guys's uh, oh geez that's not that's not what I was looking for where I grab all of your guys's resources that you're posting so you go to resources and then you go to uh, da, 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 organize and searchable tutorial archive click that link this has all the shit <laughs> I keep adding to it based on what you guys are posting in there if it's uh, if it's a really good tutorial blender photogrammetry Maya moto Houdini so it's, it's all it's crazy. It's a bunch of shit in here. You can just click on one. Got all the links. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. Salutes. Have a good weekend. Uh, I will not be streaming those critiques, but they will they will drop on uh, on YouTube. There's a bunch of videos I have to actually edit for YouTube as well. So, hooray! All right, guys. Have a good weekend. Cheers. <laughs>